linear combination and spanning set. Let's try to understand these terms. Consider two non collinear vectors u and v. That means they are not along the straight line. A linear combination of these vectors is au plus bv where a and b are real numbers. What does this linear combination of vectors represent? It's a very interesting question. It says we have two vectors, so any two vectors. So let's consider this is my u vector and let me consider this to be vector v. So when we say that we combine them in this fashion, that we scale them and combine them, then what do we get? So if we just combine them as such, let us say this is u, and we place tail to tail the vector v, right? In that case, the resultant will be, we can draw a parallelogram here and get the resultant. And say, well, the resultant this is this, right? So that it represents a point here. But if we scale it, let's say a times u, let a and b be some numbers, but not 1. Let us say a is 2. So that means, and b is also 2. In that case, this will be like up to here, and the other one will be kind of up to here. And when we now draw a parallelogram, that is kind of here, we get the resultant, which will be represented by this point, right? Now, similarly, it could be different values, right? If it is 2 and a half, and let's say it remains at 2, in that case, it is two and a half, right? It will represent a point here, correct? So what we see is, with linear combinations, different values of A and B, we can actually represent all different points on this plane. In fact, each and every point on this plane can be represented as diagonal of AU plus BV, where A and B are real numbers. So what I'm trying to say here is that any point P, which is x, y, can be written as a linear combination of AU plus BV, where A and B belongs to real numbers. So that is, that is a very important thing to understand here. And another way we say the same thing is, that the vectors u and v forms a spanning set with which u can represent any vector in the plane by their linear combination. Do you see that? So we say any vector p, x, y in the plane in which two vectors u and v are there can be equal to linear combination of u and v. Right, So that is the concept which we are learning here and we'll explore this concept in this set of videos. What are the restrictions on U and V and the restrictions on A and B? A and B should be? Both should not be zero. One of them could be zero. If let us say one is zero, then, then what happens? If let us say, that's also a scenario, if B equals to zero. In that case, what happens? In that case, we'll have PXY is equals to A times U. That means it is a scalar multiple, right? That means it's a scalar multiple. So it's along the same line as U. Do you see that? So it becomes a collinear vector. So the vector will be collinear in the same plane and in the same line if one of the coefficients is 0, correct? If b is 0, then the vector will be parallel to vector u. And if u is 0, if a is 0, then p will be collinear with vector v, correct? So that is another thing which we will soon learn. But the important thing here is that u and v should be non-zero, non-collinear vectors. If they are 0, then anything multiplied by 0 will be 0, correct? So you can only map 0, 0 with it, not any other point. So this forms kind of a base for our videos to follow. 
and we say well any set of vectors which are non-collinear and let me add non-zero we should say non-zero and non-collinear vectors u and v will form a spanning set for the plane where each and every point can be written as a linear combination of these vectors like a u plus b v equals to any vector p right in that plane so that is what we understand by spanning set u and v will be called spanning set and this term adding is called linear combination like this is the linear combination to get the third vector do you see that that is what we are going to explore more in these set of videos i hope you will enjoy it thank you